Hi, uh, my name is Mike Elkington. I work here at Bristol University. And I'm going to talk to you about this. It's a tactile sensor called the TacTip. It can detect shape. And we've been using this in composite layout to detect defects during layout. So tactile sensing is the ability for us to use our fingertips to feel what's going on in the world. Now we use that every day. For example, if I pick up an object like this Stanley knife, it tells me that I've got a firm grip. I'm not going to drop it. But it also tells me that this is in fact a Stanley knife, even without looking at it. So during composite layout, you can use tactile sensing to detect defects. For example, here, and suddenly, without even being able to see it, you can tell there's a defect underneath, which you can pull away and fix before it gets stuck into the layout. So while humans can use their hands to detect defects as early as possible, automated processes tend to use silicon rollers like this, which have absolutely no sensing capability at all. And these will just roll across the material and then lock in a defect without knowing. So the aim of this project is to create an end effector which can have tactile sensing capabilities. An ideal candidate for doing that is to use the TacTip. Now these were actually developed at the Bristol Robotics Laboratory, which is a collaboration between the University of Bristol and the University of West England. The sensor itself is quite simple. It's a 3D printed body, six LEDs, and the insides of a cheap webcam. The interesting part is this. It's a rubber hemisphere which actually deforms around a shape it's touching. And you can see on the inner surface are about 127 white dots. Each one of these is the tip of a little pin protruding from the surface. So now we switch to the view from the internal camera within the tack tip. And you can see all 127 pins moving as the tack tip hits a surface. On the left, you can see it hitting a flat surface and the pins moving away. On the right, you can hit it seeing a textured surface. And you can visibly see that where the pins are is different. And this is principally how this tack tip works to detect one surface from another. So the original version of the tack tip was optimized purely for sensing, and it actually meant it had a very soft tip. We needed one that was much harder and could apply force. So we had a master student, Evan Almas, who created this version. The inside is actually filled with an elastomer, allowing us to apply up to 400 newtons. It's 40 times stiffer than the original version. So the way the tap tip works is not by exactly calculating the shape underneath the surface, but actually by comparing two sets of images to work out if there's a difference, much like you've just seen. So if you want to use it as a sensor during layout, for example, you first need to teach it what it should be seeing. Now to do this, we do a training run, where the tack tip is pushed down onto the surface, compacting the prepreg. But at the lowest point of every tap, a screenshot is taken of where the pins are and recorded as a record of what shape it should be seeing. So to demonstrate the tack tip in action, what we're going to do is make exactly the same layout as before, but this time with a stray piece of bagging film placed underneath, and then we'll see if the tap tip can find it. So when you're applying it as a sensor, the tap tip's actually taken through exactly the same procedure of taps as it was during training. Again, you take a screenshot at the lowest point of every tap, and then you compare it to the ones taken during training. If they're the same, the tap passes. If they're different, you can say it's probably going to be a defect. So what we've shown here is that the tap tip can find just a thin layer of backing film underneath the ply, We've also found it can find wrinkles, ridges, misplaced plies, other foreign objects, showing that it really has potential to be used in automated processes as a quality control tool. Or, in fact, in any other process where you need to apply a force and detect shape at the same time. If you're interested and want to know more, see our website.